Does Japan actually have a panty vending machine? Time to visit some of Japan's weirdest vending machines, Akihabara edition. Have you heard about the creepy, maybe haunted ones that sell beetles? Or maybe you're more into cute idols. So go ahead and smash that like and let's see Jerry burn some cash. The first one we're checking out is this AI girl vending machine. And there just happens to be one in the Akihabara station. Try to figure this out first. Is she working? Konnichiwa. Nomimono onegaishimasu. I did it. Oh, that's not it. Osusume onegaishimasu. Hi, Ichiban onegaishimasu. Ah, I'm failing. Of course, they recommend one of the most expensive ones. So what do you know, it turns out this is definitely not it, or it was not at all as advertised. For whatever you ask, she only gives you drink recommendations, and then displays the info on screen. I don't know, maybe I'm just asking too much, it would be real nice if you could just order next. So far, it's really only this useful touristy thing, since you can switch it to other languages. Next to KFC, totally found a random one, let's try it. Alright, let's see what we get, what we get, what we get. What the hell is this? Is this a um, female pleasure thing? <laughs> I think I just got scammed. Oh, like a claw is, thing okay. that you just used to open like handles and stuff. PDS, PDS, what a waste PDS, of money. This is a, a piece of plastic that I paid $10 for. You could have it. Next one, I found one selling this PCR kit and some other goodies. What color? <laughs> <laughs> Get the fucking oh my god. There goes five dollars. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. No, you have to sell <laughs> this freaking machine. Alright, so finally. It's like a skin color-ish. I think this is just too small for my face. I want a black one like you. Then I can look like a ninja. Now heading into the perfect location for this video. A spot some people have nicknamed Akihabara's creepy vending machine corner. All right, we're at the weird mystery vending machine spot. How about we get one of these fortunes? Because why not? Let's just throw away money. Here we go. Can you pick a number? <laughs> Are you really going <laughs> to pick 13? We're about to be cursed. Does this pad not work? I, it just fit it out. How much is this one? Yes, 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 yes. It's working. It's working. I've never been so happy to lose $5. Please don't get stuck. $5 gone. So right at the top, it actually says foreign DVD, which I think is just code for uncensored. Let's see what this actually is. I cannot open the fucking box. <gasps> Are these crackers? <laughs> oh my god. I just spent $5 on freaking Pokey. Do they sell these in the store? Like, I want to eBay them. Is this good? I know. All right, so that is a very thick rod. It almost looks like, like, um, I want to say Snickers. So do I just stick this thing in my mouth? Ah. Uh... Not that good. I kind of want to spit it out. Is this thing expired? No, no, it's still good. Just to be sure, it's still good. Okay, so it's about a dollar a piece. It's not that bad, but these aren't that good. I'm also not really a big a fan of chocolate, so. Another fun thing you could find from these vending machines are these bugs, or should I say beetles. I've actually heard stories to some places that do have live ones in Japan, or this one specific company that actually sells bug snacks. Spending so much money. You know, for that price, I kind of wish it was real. So it's like in this half a uh, water bottle. I do wonder who owns these vending machines. They must be making a killing. It's so hard and sticky. Watch like a roach be in here or something. Oh my god. Oh, it broke. <laughs> I broke it. I broke it. I did break it. Look at his little hand. Is it another five dollars well spent of foot long back in the day? Catch. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna buy the ball and some chips. There is deer curry over here. A ball. It actually works. How much is a ball here? I don't think this is worth $3. Okay. <laughs> go in, go into the hole. I was actually just waiting for this to drop. Uh -huh. Almost looks like a tomato can with that. Oh, that was loud. I am not very trusting of can and a bread. Okay, this doesn't expire for like 
three years. Oh, oh, oh. Two, enough to share. Two muffins this time, you could actually share them with her. So I guess itadakimasu. Like it's not bad, but this would probably be like at most like two dollars at a bakery. It's very, very sweet. And plus you get two, what is that? Two for ten dollars? Oh my god. Now for the one that I think both of us were most looking forward to. All right, so we found the popcorn machine and the only bad part it's broken. I'm pretty sure one of those TikTokers broke it. One of the buttons is taped off and you can't even insert money anymore. How much was this? That was like $2 almost for popcorn. Not bad. I'm going to have to actually come back and find like a different popcorn vending machine somewhere else. Time to get a drink with Steinsgate. What's her name? I forgot her name. <laughs> it's been such a long time. No, it's right there. Oh, Mayuri. I definitely didn't forget her name. I really do like Steinsgate. So I always like passing by this machine. What should I buy? Do you want something? And I got the cow piss. Or there's the other one that was like something like that. <laughs> we scared the guy. I can't even keep on going. <laughs> so it sucks it's gone, but they actually used to sell water bottles, each with the Science Gate character on the label. I recall seeing them earlier this year, so maybe they just stopped it or ran out. So time for some children's car games. There are a lot of vending machines in this alley. Time to do 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 do. I'm gonna go for the cheaper one. Screw the rose. I have money. So let's see what we got. Oh, two. Is it two cards? First one. Oh, a magic quick play card. It's been a while. It looks like some Isekai wizard. It almost looks like that chick from Mushoku Tensei. Thankfully, she has a dragon. Since it's Japan and Akihabara, you have to buy something idol related. I don't feel weird buying this. I feel stupid paying for one of these photos. Does it matter which way I put it? Go in, take my money. How about you pick? Which one looks cuter? That's a thousand. How about this one? I like her smile. Oh, this one's, oh. <laughs> looks like I bought like a DVD. What the hell? All right, that looks like false advertising. Does one of those, I mean, I guess that's her, but is it random? All right. You could have it. I have no idea what to do with these. And apparently you can't sell them. It says something on the back not to. All right, so Pokemon cards. Let's see what we got. Pika, Pika. This one has five. This is a better deal. First one, Diglett. What are you hiding under that hole? I, I don't know what the hell this is. Ponyta, I like her. Oh, I got a legendary. The legendary lion. Uh, isn't this the mascot for the newest Pokemon game? Then I don't know what this is. This looks like a Gengar coral. Sunny Gon. Just for this one alone, it seems like it was worth something. Two of these, I don't know what they are. Well, that's how old school I am. These, I'm actually gonna keep. You can have the idol stuff, not these. Miniature figure time. I actually spotted one of these in the Akihabara station, but it wasn't anime themed. So, there's a lot of figures. Let's see which one. So you could have this one. It's a big tube thing. Why do I suck at opening these? Oh no, I got the snake, dude. Okay, you could definitely have this one. <laughs> and the grand prize from these vending machines here, one that you could actually win a full-size figure. Let's go ahead and gamble. Place your bets below. Can you guess what I'll win? Almost $30 for a figure. I don't like being gentle. Are you serious? Is this it? <laughs> oh my my. I spent $30 on f***ing ramp. I thought I was gonna get at least like a, one of those uh, cheap figures, one of the prize ones. Next up, waifu drinks. A vending machine that sells drinks with anime girls on them. Or at least that's what I expect. Oh my god, did they rip us out? It doesn't even have the character on there, oh my god. It's the one right next to it, look. Powerful energy. I don't really know the character, plus it was only like a dollar, so not really a loss. Anyway, the best for last, the undie vending machine. Is it real? There's so many rumors and speculation online, I was doubting whether I was actually gonna be able to find one. Alrighty, undie time. For obvious YouTube reasons, I can't show some of this. You'll be happy to know that there were four machines, each with their own flavor. You had freshly worn, baked for two days, some with the monthly strawberry jam, and the one at the end that said lowly. Whether the lowly one has seen some action, I'll leave that question for you to wonder about. 
I got three. All right, so back at home with the three bowls. I thought maybe, just maybe, it wasn't the best idea opening these up in public. Not to mention Akihabara was just super crowded. The thing that sucks now is that I don't know which is which and I'm kind of scared. All right, so first one, here we go. Okay, thankfully this thing comes in plastic. I was afraid I was gonna have to actually touch this. Okay, so here we go. The first one's this gray one. I'm actually not sure which one's this one's supposed to be. None of them are labeled. All right, so here we go. The second one. Now you got some black Megumin undies. All right, third one. Uh, can I open this? All right, here we go. And now you have some light blue sky color with uh, the top is a little green. I'm so freaking thankful these are actually come like individually packaged. Cause if they weren't, I already had like chopsticks here ready to just chuck them over into the trash bag. Ew. And really from what you could see, I don't really see a way to distinguish any of them. This is really my bad for not opening them on the spot. Not that I was really able to. Does anyone want to guess which one is supposed to be the berry flavored one? There really is no indication. Yeah, some random person's undies. Ew. Part of me actually hopes these aren't even real. That it's just some old lady or old dude somewhere just spraying this thing with like, I don't know, old mayo. But seriously, I am at a loss as what to do with these. If one of you guys has a good idea on what to do, and just because I know there's gonna be that one person that gets super anal about this, yes, these were technically from a gacha. The thing is, if you actually search Japanese panty vending machine, every single list is gonna give you one of these. It's always a gacha type. So if you did enjoy this video, smash that thumbs up. This video was different, it was a lot of work, but it was actually really fun to put together. If enough of you guys did like this, I will be doing a part two. So definitely smash that like. Give me an excuse to go find some of the other weird ones in all of Tokyo. I'm actually really curious about the peaks of vending machine that's in Hiroshima. 